What's up guys, Collector B here and happy Sunday. So today, we don't have much amazing stuff because I can't find nothing. It is 2023, my targets and Walmarts are empty, and yeah, I was hoping to find some good McFarlane stuff, some new McFarlane, maybe some new turtle stuff, but nope, nope. But this one over here, she finds everything she wants. So 2023 is Collector A's year, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but we do have some cool stuff that I'm actually pretty excited to open. We've got some Yu-Gi-Oh, we've got some TMNT, <laughs> BSTAXN, I can't speak today. And we do have a McFarlane to open. But yes, she has probably the best thing we're going to open up today. So we will get through all this so she can open her hers. I can't talk today at all. I don't know why. But if you guys are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. We do a video every Sunday on our toy hauls, and we appreciate you guys. You guys are fantastic. All of you guys keep coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to a fantastic 2023. So let's get into it. So first stuff we got is these Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Now, I blame Jason for this, which this is uh, J figures and such. My man decided to send me these pictures and say, look at these Yu-Gi-Oh figures and if you watched my last videos, we did the Fat Mojo Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and now I just have to buy a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So, we're going to pop this stuff open. So, we've got, first, we've got the Dark Magician. Um, I did not know these were even out. Now, I don't keep track of a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I do really like Yu-Gi-Oh. used to play the card game all the time, but these are really cool. And since I got the Fat Mojo ones, I wanted to get these. As you can see, they have a bunch of single versions on the back, and they've got some two-packs, which we have as well. So... Pretty cool. Uh, the characters they decided to do, or I mean the monsters they decided to do, are pretty awesome. There's quite a bit on here that are some of my favorites. So, uh, we did find these at Books A Million, and I know you can find them at the Go Calendar Store. So, but of course, ours wasn't open when we decided to go there, was it? No. No. So, we're going to pop open Dark Magician. Now, they do come with this little card, which I'm pretty excited about. We'll have to see how good a shape it is. And, oh my goodness, what is all this? Look at this. Look at that instruction book there. I know. We'll have to see what's in it. But, oh. Oh, he comes with a stand? What? How do I... You don't bend it. Oh, I know. I had to get this one. There was two Dark Magicians when I found it, but one of them was really, really messed up. Um, these are 3.75-inch figures. And these cards... How are you not supposed to bend this? Okay, so pretty cool. There is the card. Um, it does look like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh card that they used in the show, not the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you actually get to collect because they are a little bit different. And then the back is kind of like the card as well. So let's pop open Dark Magician, and then I will pop open that book. Why does he have a bugle on his head? <laughs> a bugle. <laughs> so only thing, kind of a bummer. Um, they are articulated, but not a lot. So his arms can move, but kind of a bummer because you don't want his staff going back like that. Um, no movement in the legs. And actually, it's, I guess that's really good. He came with a stand because... Oh. Look at that. Boom. So let me... Ooh, that's a not a fun place to put the stand. Right. Where? In his butt. Oh. Yeah, ow. Right? And how am I supposed to get this in? Ooh, okay. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm actually glad they gave you a stand for him. So... Um, nothing crazy. The one thing I noticed about the Dark Magician, his face is a little off there, um, just paint-wise, so, but it doesn't look bad, and I had to get Dark Magician for Yugi, which is cool, and here is, oh, okay, so this is the same, this is, who makes this stuff? This is the same stuff, da, 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 da. I don't know who makes this, Konami... Sure, it's just the little, I think it's just the same as like the mini, mini brand stuff. Um, Super Impulse, I guess is who it is. But as you can see, they give you this and it has all those mini brand stuff. And it has the like arcade machines that you can get for your figures. Um, just a lot of stuff they do. There's the arcade machines. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Sorry, there's the arcade oh, machines. It's like the arcade machines. <laughs> so, um, so there is Dark Magician. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. We're going to put him here, and actually, I'm going to pull something out here. We are going to pull out Yugimoto from Fat Mojo. So, 
you can kind of see how they scale um actually not bad with dark magician because dark magician is actually kind of like the size of the uh the guys here he's a lot taller than yugi but not um yami yugi so that kind of works there pretty cool so that's nice i can just kind of display him with there um i wish this card I, I like I don't know really what I'm gonna do with these. I guess you could use these for like bigger figures. Like mm -hmm. this would actually look good in like a McFarlane hand or something. But um, obviously it's too big for there. So there is Yugi and Dark Magician. So next one we got, and I want to do them last. Next one we got is the two pack. Um, like I said, they do have these in singles and in two packs. Now blue eyes and red eyes you can get singly but you can get them in these two packs as well. I did not find them singly, so I had to get the two pack, which this one comes with Harpy Lady, which, eh, I don't really care. I don't remember if it was Yugi or, well, actually, it's my Valentine who uses Harpy Lady, but I think Yugi and Joey maybe had her as well, um, but that's not really why I got the two pack. We got the two pack for Red Eyes. So, let's pop it open. Um, these two packs, how much were they? These two packs are like 20 bucks. The singles are around 10. So, I mean, it's not terrible. You're getting, you know, two things for $10 a piece. And they do come with those cards as well in the two pack. Let's see. These boxes are interesting. So, there is Harpy Lady's card. And here is Red Eye's card, which I still have my Yu Gi Oh cards. So, I, I mean,. Just, I used to love, love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Me and my neighbors, awesome. Um, looks like Harpy Lady comes with the stand. Red Eyes does not. The Harpy Lady is actually already on the stand, but it does come off. That's cool. I was curious about that because that was kind of interesting. So here's Harpy Lady. She, oh, okay. So her arms do move, which is cool. I thought there was going to be absolutely no articulation. I mean, the wing moves with the arms, so kind of like a thriller. Pretty cool there. Um, she's got the same part where the stand goes, but again, like I said, she, her stand was actually on, but it does come off. So there is Harpy Lady, which, you know, Harpy Lady's okay. <clears throat> not my favorite. Again, it's not why we bought this, so. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of a bummer. Okay, but Red Eyes, Red Eyes is dope. Interesting. So he does have a little more movement but i am kind of disappointed with with one thing on here so here is red eyes black dragon and like i said he does not come with a stand i think he looks actually really really cool i like the size um i'll show you kind of the movements and one thing i'm a little disappointed about with him but he does look really cool i love how he looks red eyes has always been one of my favorites um, I do like red eyes more than blue eyes, but obviously blue eyes was more powerful. So, you know, is what it is. But, so this guy, as far as movement goes, I'll show you that side real quick. So his arms do move, so you do get that movement there. Um, his wings do move as well, which is kind of cool. Um, his legs, no movement. Tail, no movement. The one thing that just kind of annoys me about this, his head does move, but it's his whole neck. Um, so I was hoping to be able to move his head this way, but it's the whole neck. So kind of annoying. You're kind of stuck in like this sideways pose here. Um, but I mean, you do get some movement in the arms and stuff and in the wings. So it's not terrible, except when you lift that wing up, it's like right in front of his face. So, but there is Harpy Lady and here is Red Eyes Black Dragon and we will bring in Joey Wheeler. So red eyes not gonna scale the best with joey because red eyes is supposed to be ginormous uh big old dragon so joey is pretty big but you know again it's a nice little like display to where you can at least see red eyes and joey in the same and it's not ginormous next to him so there we go guess we just need my valentine there so last double pack we have this one is cool we've got gate guardian and blue eyes this is probably my favorite two pack that they did just because gate guardian is such a big bulky guy uh they decided to do relinquished and time wizard as well and then obviously you have exodia as well um and castle of illusion but i don't know kind of interesting that they just decided to whip gate guardian out there they didn't do his three 
um, you know, I can't remember what their name, but the three guys that turn into him and that he is with Blue Eyes. Now, these two are crazy powerful, so it does make sense to put them together. Um, I think Time Wizard and, oh yeah, Karibo's on here too. Those two would be cool because um, Yugi does have Time Wizard and Karibo. So, <clears throat> let's pop this open. This is, does it say Wave 1 or anything? Just says 10 to collect. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming this is Wave 1. I haven't seen much. Oh, I guess these are stickers. There's I just found out. Stickers? Yeah, it says on here... Each figure includes one exclusive card sticker. Huh. So kind of interesting. The one thing that's weird is why that dragon is on there as a sticker. I don't remember his name, but his figure is not on the box. I can't remember that dragon's name, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, but yeah, so apparently they're stickers. So kind of cool. So there is Blue Eyes and Gate Guardian. I'm hoping Gate Guardian at least turns his hips a little bit, but... Maybe his hips don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> but Gate Guardian was one of my favorites, like, as a card. Just because I had to, you know, you had to get Kaizajin. Is it Kaizajin, Suijin, and I don't remember the top half's name. But there is his card. You can see his power is crazy. It's even higher than Blue Eyes. But you had to do a lot to get him on the playing field, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and then there is Blue Eyes. So there's those. Let's pull out Gate Guardian. Oh, he's got a big ding on his back. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of a bummer. He's big, though. Boom! So there is Gate Guardian. Now, <clears throat> I say he's big. He's actually not that big because he's smaller than these fat mojos. And he's supposed to be massive because it's three monsters put together to make him. I don't remember the top monsters, but I think that's Suijin. That's Kaizajin. I, I can't remember. Um, kind of a bummer, though. He doesn't move very much. I believe just his arms move. And in the back, there is kind of a nice chunk taken out. Um, nothing crazy, but it is pretty cool. I do like Gate Guardian, so that's pretty cool. And it's a nice little, again, display piece. But like I said, his arms move. And... That's it. His waist don't even move. So kind of a bummer when they like don't let you move the waist when they're at this kind of angle. You know what I mean? So you're kind of forced to put them at like an angle. But I mean, whatever. And then height wise, again, he is pretty small compared to what he's supposed to be. But that's OK. Nice display piece. And now we got the final, which blue eyes, white dragon, which... same same thing kind of a bummer so boom there is blue eyes uh he's kind of like red eyes his head is going to move but it's the whole neck piece his arms move his legs and his tails do the tail does not move but his wings do move um so kind of a bummer because again he's at this pose to where he's yeah. like looking all the way down um if he was bigger i guess that would be okay but you know i'll move the neck here in a second see where we can get it but he does look cool. Again, these are nothing crazy. If you like Yu-Gi-Oh! and you want to get some more display pieces, um, I would suggest these. They're not, like, crazy expensive. They don't have much movement. But, like, the two packs, you do get some good monsters in them. At least they've been doing, like, some good monsters. So, um, the wings do move. You can swivel them all the way around. I'm not sure why you really would. Um, these bring back his head can go here which is nice i guess but again you have just the whole neck movement so i would really like the head to be straight up but like we can do this and the arms do move nothing in the tail nothing in the legs so there is blue eyes and here is seto kaiba with blue eyes now obviously that does not scale at all good because blue eyes is massive but you know, it does look really cool. It's kind of nice to have some monsters there with these figures. So even though the scale isn't amazing, I do really like it. I think they're pretty cool, actually. I really like the red eyes. I just mm -hmm. wish that head would move, not just the whole neck. So it's not bad. <clears throat> so if you guys are looking for this stuff, again, these were at um, Books A Million. They are at the Go Calendar store as well. But you can get these to kind of mix in with your Fat Mojo guys. So not bad i mean they're they're not terrible again like i said i do like that they at least did red eyes gate guardian blue eyes you know 
they did some really cool figures. Let's do this. Um, to start wave one with, I believe it's wave one. So pretty cool. So there it is. So there's our Yu-Gi-Oh today. Um, I did get another Yu-Gi-Oh figure, but we're not opening it. So maybe you I'll buy another show one. It? You guys can see that later. So, huh? Oh, okay. Should I show it? Just show it. Okay, let's show it. This guy's beastly. So I don't need to knock over Ichigo. Oh, as I knocked over Ichigo. Okay, he's still there. So we did find this guy, and this is also Jason's fault. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Boom, Series 1 Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes. This is actually Fat Mojo who makes these. Um, they do have Exodia, Blue Eyes Ultimate, Winged Dragon of Raw, uh, Swifer the Sky Dragon? Slifer, I can't remember his name, and Obelisk the Tormentor. Um, I got this. I was planning on opening it. Box came. I was like, wow, this looks really, really cool in it. Um, it's just a really cool box, really cool looking figure. I don't know how well the articulation is. Because I have not opened it, so I'm kind of scared to because I really like how it looks in there. But as you can see, the scale wise is kind of closer to what you would want with him because Blue Eyes is massive. So these are still on Amazon. I believe they still have all of them on there, and that is Wave One. I may get Blue Eyes Ultimate. I've never been a huge fan of the Legendary God cards in Exodia. It just doesn't look as cool as he does in the show to me. So um, we didn't get that. But yeah, really cool here pretty excited we may get another one pop it open we'll see so there you go blue eyes fat mojo so next thing we got and if you followed my channel we've been collecting tmnt uh bst axn for quite a while now they come out with the street figure clothes which are really cool i do have almost all of those we're still looking for two more we're not popping those open i really like how they look on the card but all the other ones i have popped open so we finally found rocksteady which was also at books a million right that's mm -hmm. what we found too yes, yes we did so um i have bebop open so i decided to get rocksteady and i was actually pretty impressed with the bebop because he does come with the um, alternate head which is his human head now rocksteady is not as cool as bebop to me but i had to get this to put him with bebop and to open him up and they do come with quite a bit of accessories so um kind of funny though i will go on a little rant here when these first, when these BSTXM Turtles first came out, the first series, I just saw so many people just trashing them. Like, oh, those are terrible, blah, 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 why would you get those? Now everybody wants to get them. Now everybody's all about the street turtles, which I agree. I mean, like, the jackets and all the accessories are really, really cool. But, like, I just thought they were always a really cool alternative to NECA, and they're not very expensive. They, they're, they ain't. They're not the best figures, but they're pretty cool for the price. And they do give you quite a bit of accessories, so I've always been a fan about them. So, like always, we get the BSTAXN sticker. Thing. It's not, I don't even oh, it's think it's a sticker? a sticker. I don't know. Oh. We probably said that like 12 yeah, times before. Um, but as you see, he does come with alternate hands. He does come with quite a bit of accessories and, of course, the alternate head. So, <clears throat> the first set of hands we get are just hands to hold stuff and they are his human hands so not only do you get um his like rhino hands but you're gonna get human hands with these as well which is really smart that they did that because you obviously don't want the human face sculpt and rhino looking hands so uh pretty cool that you could probably get two of these if you wanted to not probably you could and make one a uh, human version and one his mutated fusion, uh, version which is pretty cool so i like that they did that um this face sculpt's not bad. I mean, it looks just like him. I think the Bebop one is much better. But, like, again, that's just my preference because I like Bebop. But really cool that they give you those. Uh, you know, NECA has given us these as well, but separate packs. So you had to buy, you know, Bebop and Rocksteady like this. Then you had to buy them as humans. And then they had the uh, metal ones or the superhero ones, whatever they wanted to call them. Um, so, I mean, you get kind of two for one here. Then you get open hands of his mutated body which are pretty cool as well, which is funny that he loses a finger. You know what I mean? <laughs> they lose fingers when they get mutated, which is kind of cool. Um, I do really like his two accessories, though, except one's a little bent. But you do get this huge, it's basically a machete. Um, it's kind of, the blade's kind of an interesting shape, though, because it's kind of fat. 
to where you almost wanted it more, you know, mm -hmm. smoother. But it is pretty cool machete. Um, and then this gun is really cool. Mine is just kind of bent funky, but um, yeah, it's really, it's really bent funky. <laughs> so kind of a miss on this gun though, just because do you see how, oh, like, yeah. it's not just this, <laughs> but like it's waved out there. Um, the gun itself is actually pretty cool though. You got a scope on it and everything, but you know, kind of bent up. That's okay. Again, these are not, you know, amazing figures, but oh wow, he's He's bulky. He is really bulky compared to all these other TMNT BSTs. Boom. Oh, what? Dang, he's got double knee joints. Okay, well, let's put him down. Show him first. He's really differently made. I'm going to have to grab Bebop and see. So while she shows you this, I will grab Bebop. But there is Rocksteady. And he does come with a holder on the back for the machete, which is pretty cool. And I guess he's like that too. Interesting. <clears throat> but he is pretty bulky um, for a BST, which is kind of nice. He's going to stand very easily. I like that they did the grenade there, which is nice. He's got his strap over his shoulder with the, uh, the ammo in it, which is really nice. And then again, like I said, he has like the sheath pretty much for... Uh, the machete, which isn't bad at all. And his costume doesn't look bad. Again, nothing crazy. Um, I do wish his mouth opened, but it's a, you know, BSTA extend. Um, one thing which is interesting, you can see his knees. He's got double knee joints, which I did not realize that hmm. uh, Bebop has the same. But it's kind of funny because it looks like his legs are just, like, tearing apart yeah. there. Um, but you do get good movement. He's pretty stiff this way. I can get this one out a little bit. This one, not so much. Um, he does have the thigh swivel there as well. No toe joint. His arms are good. They go around. He does have a uh, bicep swivel as well, which is nice. His head, though, is pretty stuck. So you're getting there. I mean, you, yeah, you could get it all the way around. It's just pretty tight, but not much up and down. Um, and, of course, you can put the human head on there as well. But let's just throw this in here, and let's give him his bent gun come on come on there it is okay and there is oh there's rock steady those double knee joints does make him kind of go back a little bit um and then here is bebop i've had bebop for actually quite a while and bebop's always been my favorite of these two i just think he's much cooler rock steady's a lot thicker and everything but there you go you can see they gave two accessories for Bebop as well. Height-wise, they scale really well together. It's just crazy to see how thick Rocksteady is compared to Bebop. Um, and we will do this. His head's going to be hard to get off, though. Don't no, make it. I don't think we're going to do this, actually. Yeah, so I was going to put his human head on, but it is really hard to pop this head off. I feel like I'm just going to snap that joint um so you guys will have to do that on your own because we're not breaking anything today so there is bst axn rocksteady which is really cool so uh i'm happy with these I, again like i'm probably not gonna get a ton of these there's some i've been select on i really do like the turtles of these and people in rocksteady are really good i honestly think the worst one they have made so far is the shredder the shredder is mm -hmm. not my favorite the casey jones is pretty cool um no, we found him at Walmart. We did was not find him. Yeah, because Casey was there. They do have a Casey Jones as well. That's a glow in the dark. I didn't grab that one because I have the original one. Um, but we did find him at Walmart. So I believe him, Casey Jones, and the Krang is showing up at Walmart as well, which I have not found Krang yet, but we definitely are going to have to get Krang. So there he is. So pretty cool. They do look good together. I like them. And I'm a fan of uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. So, so that's what we have to start but now we have something to open and it's not funko but it's collector a time what the funko is up guys we're back with no funkos uh -huh. oh my gosh we've got batula super seven the bat prince of darkness and espn even though we're already done with fantasy football aren't we <laughs> I won, by the way, guys. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. Okay. Keep going. 
So we're going to open the plastic <laughs> so we can see the box. Ooh. No. I've been waiting for this for probably a year. A very long time. Yeah. I was hoping to get it during October for Halloween, but didn't happen. But we did finally get it. Thought you Thought you Turn the box. Boom. This is her first Super 7. My first Super 7. So again, bear with me, guys. I'm probably not going to do the best, but... The worst. The worst. Boom. Oh, slides off. Oh! Oh, man. Is it beautiful? It's pretty beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. That box is fantastic. I would have a hard time opening that. It almost looks like the Stranger Things yeah, box. Yeah, it does. The Demogorgon mm -hmm. box. And then here's <gasps> Batula. Oh my god. Warning citizens, Batula, the unholy bat prince of darkness, stalks from dusk to dawn. That's all I'm going to okay. read. Because there's like, quite a bit. <laughs> you know what? Oh, but the box... Oh, did you not even notice? I can't even keep it in the box if I wanted to. Because... Yeah, you can't see the hands. Well, no. I know. It's... Is it Dean? It's messed up. Oh, it's you up. poor thing. <laughs> okay. She's pretty excited for this. All I could hear every month, when's Batula coming? When's Batula coming? I don't know. I'm not the shipper. Well, yeah. It did get delayed quite a bit. The worst, so you guys know, is Super 7's line of creatures. Which is cool. They have quite a bit of them. <sighs> he looks sick. Those yeah. face sculpts are really cool. I'm I'm curious which one you're going to pose it with. I think I already know, but we'll have to see. The glasses? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, sorry. Family channel, but I mean. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see. I think it's taped on top. I was just gonna pull the plastic. Out. Oh, boom! Boom! Oh gosh, what to start with? Accessories. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I was trying to figure out what accessories to start with. I'm gonna start with this. My goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the silver. Yeah, remember who were we talking about? Like. A couple, couple months ago, yeah. And I'm, I think this is his sword, and we're like, no, no that's not what we're talking about. I don't know what it was. I don't either. It was... Was it the... Pumpkin Man? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was... That's kind of interesting. Sorry, the tape is still stuck to it. Whatever. Oh, God. What are you doing? You're good. I'm it's good, a sword. <laughs> <laughs> you can show the sword. Okay, so here's his sheath, which is the bone. Which, yes, there's still tape on it. I'll get it off later. Okay. And this. Oh, oh, oh. I'm already dropping stuff. We got the sword. So you have the skull. Looks pretty cool. Sword's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like it. I don't know how he's gonna hold that thing though. No, does his hands look small? Yeah. I mean I can't see his hands on his body now. Oh son of a son of a gun. I'm trying There's to get his... the sword back in the sheath and no. I can't do it. <clears throat> oh, he comes with a goblet. Not the goblet of fire. He's not Harry Potter. Goblet's pretty cool. Filled with blood. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, there's that. I, I don't know. Vampire cologne. Blood scented. That's, yeah, it definitely I, looks like a cologne bottle. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Is that a bat on top? Yeah. Yeah, it's either like cologne or a flask or something. That's pretty cool. There's his little 
Well, his book? book. Does it open? It opens. You can put treasures in oh, there. Oh, you could probably put that in there. Yeah. So, oh, treasures. Cool. Treasures. The Holy Cross. It is cool that it opens and, yeah. and can clasp. Really cool. If I can even Shoot. open it. So we've got a fist hand. Are you putting that in there? Oh, it does fit perfectly. Maybe that is what it's for. I think so. So okay. here's a fist hand. Um, I guess to punch someone. To, I guess to punch <laughs> someone. Yeah, I don't know why a vampire needs to punch someone, huh? They might, okay? Hmm. Not much detail in no, his hands, though. There isn't. There's a ring, I think, on this one. It's a really weird looking ring. So one fist hand, two fist hands. It's like brass knuckles almost. Kind of. Huh. He's got a big old black mark on his hand. Yeah, he does. Now, my terrible. favorite set of hands that are going on Bat Eva. Oh, giving me the finger. The bird. The bird. Yeah, it is kind of cool that they gave him these yeah. hands. Ooh. I'm not giving you guys the finger. I'm just showing you his hand. I promise. <laughs> and it is, I guess, it's pretty <laughs> cool, cool that he has the ring on yeah. his right hand on both sides. Oh, he came with double birds? Yeah. Dang, he's stone cold now. That's what we should do, a picture of him flipping off Stone Cold. <laughs> That'd be great. Hands are okay. Yeah, there's nothing, it's nothing special. Um, this is pretty cool. This is alternate heads. Yes. Hey, with his sunglasses. Mr. Cool. Oh. That looks See, really but this cool. face is fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the color in the ears. Yeah. Are you blind? You know, it's funny because he's got, like, red on his teeth. And so you're like, oh, they messed up the paint. But it, you could just say it's blood. I, I didn't know. even notice. Let me see. Oh, you're still showing. Still Sorry. showing. Sorry. I do like that face sculpt. Oh, yeah. But it could just be blood. It could like, be. Like, you're good. Yeah, that's you know? true. But... That face sculpt is cool, though. It is. Um, I kind of like this one. I guess I wish it was more of just a darker oh, red. Oh, bloody. But, you know, he's got blood all over his face. Man, see, I think they did really good with these face sculpts. Mm -hmm. The eyes look good. The color in the ears is, is fantastic. I guess they didn't realize they were blue. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. blurry yeah that's good face sculpt too i really like that oh there he is there cloth he cape is cloth cape <clears throat> it is wired at the bottom i'm just opening it so we can see the Oh, he came with a nasty scuff on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Oh, he's going to have to be draped in his cape all the time. Okay. Oh, oh he's big. Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize how big he was. What, how big did you think I don't he was going to be? Oh, that face sculpt is cool, dude. I love the chain. Mm-hmm. Tuxedo. So those are open hands. So those are the only hands, hands to hold something. Yeah. Which. Oh yeah. But at least he's black. You could just, you know, blacken that leg up a little bit. Yeah, because I'm gonna do oh, that. Oh oh, oh. 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 Sorry, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That cape is really cool. Here, you want to lift the cape up from behind so I can see. So pretty. Pretty basic. Yeah, because no, he's in basic his tuxedo. Beat. Get it? Basic B, but he's a bat. Uh, <laughs> but his cape will come off, too. His cape That's will cool. come off. Um, the back, I mean, this is... Oh, you do a little bit of movement. A movement, yeah. Not anything, I wonder. 
Just take his head off, That's and true. you can just pull the cape off. Oh, okay. Super easy. Cool. Really easy. Let me see this real quick before you... So there's your three head sculpts. It's kind of a bummer, though. These two are pretty much the same, almost. Yeah, I mean, but... I do really like all these face sculpts, though. Yeah. We're gonna... Let me see it without the cape. He stands pretty well, surprisingly. He looks cool. I honestly didn't think he was this big. I don't know why. It's not one of your Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Yeah, obviously. How Stoop. much was he? Sixty-four ninety-nine. Oh, uh, like I think he was fifty-four. Fifty? Oh, it was. It was fifty-four because we had two pre-ordered, and then I said no. I got too much stuff pre-ordered, mm -hmm. so we just got you one. Okay. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to take cool. the hands off yeah. before and put a head head on. It's actually oh, you broke it. a lot easier than the um, Headless Horseman, I would say. I felt like I was going to break that thing the entire time I was doing it. Well, the Headless Horseman's Mythic Legions. Yeah, well. Push. I suck at putting this crap on, man. Okay. One, two. <laughs> okay, it's not going to snap in, but it's in somewhat. Uh -huh. It's fine. Sure it is. Okay. Okay. Double bird. Oh, you should have put his cape back on. You can do it without the cape. We'll see. We back we'll on. see what I blow the out. Let me show the cape. The hands pop in pretty easy. Yeah, the cape is definitely wired. Maybe. It's cool. It's pretty soft. Roll with that. <laughs> Let's see Joe Cool here. Oh, <laughs> like yes. that's probably even without the cape. cape. I don't know. I'll probably put the cape on here just to see what it looks I'm sorry. like. I love it. That's the whole boom. Like, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is that's fantastic. Really cool. Interesting. These are not what I thought it would be. No. Like, it's pretty different. So, he's got. I mean, pretty good movement in his. Legs. No thigh swivel, huh? No. no. You'd see the cut. Stuck. And the legs don't really go up that much because of his... Tuxedo? Tuxedo, but... He could be John Lennon. John? No. Not the same glasses, dude. His waist moves... Looks like he kind of has an ab crunch a little bit. Nope. No, no ab <laughs> crunch. Um. Yeah. Bicep that... swivel at all? I think so. I don't know. Yep, he's got yeah. a bicep swivel. That one right there. That's your bicep swivel. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. No. Oh, he looks actually really good without the cape on. I know. I don't. We'll see. Hang on. I might put the cape back on. That's the only difficult thing. Like you said, like to get the arms back to where. Yeah, you just gotta to see be. where the joints are. Like, it's not a pop. Thank you. So I'd get a pop of him. Can you imagine if they made a pop with his glasses on, given the bird? Oh, that would be great. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Okay, since I didn't really, maybe I did put the head on. Sometimes you don't hear the pop. <laughs> As you broke it. <laughs> oh, see, that's the thing. You'll have to put his arms down. No, it's wired. You just have to end up putting that cape back. Son of a gun. Okay. There. Good luck getting the head back on now. I know. I'm too much out. There you, go. you always have to laugh at it. Because it's God. hard, right? It's yeah, not no, fun. it's so like this is why I do pops because this mm -hmm. would drive me nuts if I had to do this every week. I couldn't do it. 
see, I don't think I'm going to pose him with the cape. Well, now just sculpt the cape to back. Like, use the wires on the cape to kind of flow backwards. Because right now it's kind of like all bunched up. You're just going to have to play around the cape a little bit more, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see him with the cape on, though. Oh, no. See, I like the cape. <laughs> I think if you got that cape in a good position, it would look really cool. Yeah! He's blinging, dude. Yeah. You know what would have been cool? Is if the, like, the necklace that holds, well, the chain that holds the cape said, like, I don't know, something really cool, like Dracula or something. You know, yeah. Batula, like, like just Batula. Jing, like blinged, blinged out, out. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> that would have been really cool. That doesn't look bad. No. I actually really like that. I do. I am actually... It was well worth the wait, I would Interesting. say. Hmm. I think I would get another Super 7 before I got another Mythic, Mythic Legion. Legions. But that's just me. And it was half the price. Mm -hmm. I mean, you of bought a horse. One. And yeah, yeah, the one I... But super cool. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to have to steal them from you. No. I should have got one. You they should... had a pirate guy that came with him, and then they have a couple oh, others. Yeah. But um, I might have to get some. There's another one I you showed the, me. The um, the Reaper. The Reaper. The Robot, the robot Reaper. Reaper <laughs> yeah. Which looks really That's a cool. pre-order. You're going to have to get that. I'm going to have to get that one. Yeah. Um, This will go perfect with my horror shelf. And it get, is it still on Big Bad? Uh, I think so. Um, I believe it's probably in stock now. I don't think it, like, sold out. So, you should be able to get it still on Big Bad Toy Story. Yeah, if you guys are a Dracula lover, whatever, I would suggest getting this. Yeah, I like the stuff he comes with, but honestly, I wouldn't even pose him with any of that stuff. I think I would have him exactly like you'd have him right now. Pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe a sword in his hand with one middle finger for me, but that's oh, cool. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. You like it? I love it. But again, like, you tell me how, because where is he supposed? Right there. Here? Yeah. Or it's a... Yeah. I just don't understand where he's supposed to hold. Like, it's always going to have to be in the sheath. Well, if he can hold the bone with the shell, he can hold the top then. Which I don't. I don't know. I'm not about to break <laughs> this. So again, if you guys want to try, be my guest. Um, really cool accessories, though. I mean, like, a lot of this can just go with my horror stuff. Mm -hmm. You mix and match. Um, like, if Jason was just holding this. Ooh. Predator. Predator. You know? <laughs> um, yes. But yeah, so... That is Batula, folks. Let me know. Gabriel. What you... <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, I would love Van Helsing figures as well. The werewolves really cool. in there are super sick. Awesome. But yeah. So, Batula, again, let me know what you think because I'm actually very happy with it. Robot Reaper next. Yes. Which a I'll year see from in now. a year. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, so that's this week. Um, I'll be back next week with Pops. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't have any more figures that I know of that I'm. Not yet. Not yet. But it's just the beginning of 2023. And apparently I'm the only one finding stuff this year. So <laughs> yay me. <laughs> All right, so as always, pop out. <laughs> we are back, and that was the worst. <laughs> no, really cool, Batula. Um, I'm actually pretty jelly. I should have got one myself. Um, but like she said, I believe they're still on Big Bad Toy Store. You could probably order them straight from Super 7 as well. Um, we're definitely going to have to get more of those. Those are really, yeah. really cool. So he is pretty solid. So... Last thing we got today, and then we will let you guys enjoy your Sunday. Uh, we have McFarlane 
build a figure solomon grundy batman arkham city catwoman so this wave this wave i'm not a fan at all um i could have probably grabbed this whole wave and done a nice unboxing for everybody and done solomon grundy and you all probably would have been pretty happy but I didn't want to. Um, I'm not a fan of how Solomon Grundy looks. I don't think he looks big enough. I don't really like how Raish or Raz al Ghul looks. Uh, the Penguin just doesn't look like he has much mobility to me. And the Batman, I just, every time they do an Arkham Knight, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum Batman, those eyes are whack. So not a huge fan. So the Catwoman though, I do like this Catwoman. This is one of my favorite Catwomans, I think. Um, that they have made overall just because her outfit and everything my wife was actually fun fact her for Halloween this costume pretty close um, So I did decide to get her now they are making which well they already made a black and white version of this whole wave It is a Walmart exclusive So I'm gonna open this one because I decided to get the Catwoman and the Batman from that wave which are right here So they are black and white uh, Batman has some blood stains. Catwoman's goggles are colored. They just look really cool to me, black and white. The rest of the wave, I'm not getting. Um, just no, no plans to get it. Don't really like it. But we're going to pop her open because I do like this Catwoman out of all of them. This was the one I really wanted to see the most. Um, we found this at Walmart. For a while, I saw the whole wave at Target except for Catwoman. I couldn't find Catwoman for the longest time and now it seems like her and Penguin are all over Walmart for some mm -hmm. reason. Um, so we did decide to pick her up because I do need a Catwoman open. I don't have a single Catwoman open because they don't look good. Now they did make another Catwoman coming out in the new wave with Hush Batman which is the blue version, Mr. Freeze and the Joker. Um, I did order that whole wave, but I really don't like that light purple old school Catwoman. So um, probably will end up giving that away. So stay tuned. Uh, so she does come with card and stand. I love the card. The card is fantastic. It's straight out of the video game. I used to have a poster with her and Batman posted up like that. Really, really cool. Probably one of my favorite. Well, one, it's probably the best Batman games they have made. I really enjoyed them back in the day. Um, but let's see. So there's Grundy's torso. His I'm, torso needs to be like double the size. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of how his size is. Um, so we're just not going to collect so the rest light. of Grundy. And I just don't really think he looks that good. I think they would have been better if they just would have done him as a mega fig. Um, which I like a lot of the build figures he does. But I just, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this Grundy. Um, I bet the black and white version probably looks better. I'm just... I'm being picky lately because McFarland puts out way too much stuff for me to grab everything. So she does come with her whip, which thank goodness she comes with a whip and it is pretty movable. I actually do like when they do these whips like this because it will stay, but you can bend it however you really want to. I didn't mean to throw that at you, but there you go. So there's the whip. Now that's all she comes with. No alternate face sculpt, no extra hands, which, you know, whatever kind of a bummer but it is what it is my arm's still in there i didn't get that zip tie one thing i hate about the female characters though they have such skinny arms that when they zip tie them in there it's so hard for me to get into that zip tie okay doop doop now, I've had her, you guys heard me complain about me not finding stuff. I've had her for about two weeks now. Um, was debating on what we were going to do with it. And I know she's not new, but I just figured I might as well unbox it for you guys if I'm going to unbox it anyways. So, I do have one complaint about this. But overall, I do think she looks pretty good. Now, she going to be able to stand? No, she's not. I'm probably going to have to pull out the stand. Oh, Wow. Okay. Wow. She stands pretty good with those high heels. That's a bonus. So, um, I, uh, this is probably one of my favorite Catwoman costumes, so I really do like the costume. One thing I don't like is her pelvis area just looks ginormous compared to, like, her stomach and everything. I mean, she's a thick lady down there, isn't she, right? It just looks a little off. It looks long and off yeah. to me. Just a little. Um, 
it's not that big of a deal. Once you start bending her around and get her in a pose, I guess she'll look a little bit better. Costume looks good. I think the face is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think he hit it on the mark with the face. I really wish those goggles would come down, though, which would be really cool, and that'd be a really easy thing to do. No, they don't come down. Um, but the face looks great. As far as her overall costume, I mean, her hands are good. I'm glad they're actually like claws and not just hands. You need to cover Tanjiro's face for me. So I can focus on Catwoman. Jeez. That, well, his face isn't going to help either. There you go. Thank Sorry. You. Tanjiro! <laughs> Sorry, She's guys. She's got a booty, though. Yeah, she does have a booty. Like, honestly, her <clears throat> her body's not bad. That torso pelvic area just looks kind of funny. And I think it's just because it's cut, you know? So it's yeah. not just all one piece. Um, costume looks great. I mean, there's nothing crazy with the costume because that's it's just, you know, it's, it's her. It's the leather... Um, you know, but she looks really, really good. And like I said, this is one of my favorite Catwomans that, um, they have, like, minus the Tim Burton Catwoman and the Batman Animated Series Catwoman. So, um, I do like her face a lot, though. Her face looks really good, even though she's got some black marks on her lips, so she looks like she's kind of growing a mustache a little bit. Um, but, uh... It's a mole. No, I don't think it is. But the face looks fantastic. But just making those goggles come down would have been fantastic. I'm sure he'll make a gold label version uh, where the goggles come down. Uh, as far as articulation, she does have double knee joints. Pretty good. Um, no thigh swivel for her. No t Oh, she does have a toe joint. No way. I can't. Yeah, she does have a toe joint. Oh, it's wow. tiny yeah. because of the heels. Um, surprisingly, she did stand really well. Now... Look at that, though. That is one thing I will say with, like, McFarland is that's pretty good. And that's kind of what you want with Catwoman because, you know, she's doing her side flips and back flips and stuff like that. So that's fantastic. Um, she does have the, I almost said thigh swivel, the bicep swivel there. Uh, again, these are super skinny, so you're going to have to be careful. These are almost like BSTs. Uh, the wrists are good. Um, I'm curious, though. Yeah, her head. Wow, that's kind of creepy. Um, her head does go all the way around. She has good up and down, which, I mean, that's really cool. That goes really far down, which is awesome. And she actually has an ab crunch. Like, it's the one thing with some of these female figures he does. They get way more of an ab crunch. Does that look funny? Look at that booty. There it is. Back it up. Twerking. So, um, but she, I mean, this is actually a pretty solid figure. I'm actually a lot more a lot more a lot happier with this than i thought i would be um again i just i'm not a fan of the rest of that wave this kind of makes me want to get the penguin but i don't think the penguin's gonna have much articulation because of his jacket and stuff um i do love the whip i'm gonna have to pose it some way that it looks really good but it does go in her hands really well it just would have been nice if those goggles would have moved down. I think that's my only complaint is her goggles and just kind of like I said, her like torso area is just kind of a little off to me, but man, she stands fantastic. I am super surprised at how well she stands. She looks good. Yeah, it just looks like she's wearing a diaper. And I've seen there. people complain which about McFarland's like diapers, which I get it. It kind of is kind of like a diaper, especially when you're making a female figure. She's so skinny up top, and then you give her the waboom, you know? It's just like, eh. She does look pretty good, though. She looks really good, though. So I'm happy I picked this one up. I think this is the best figure from that wave. Also, this sounds, this feels so That's cheap. what I said. It's really light. This and... feels like Clayface to me uh -huh. almost except clay face with a little bit more rubber and again there's the diaper yeah. you know so um yeah so i won't be collecting the rest of this wave i will have that black and white version coming in i'm probably not going to open them but i will end up showing them to you guys but definitely check those out as well those are on walmart.com now you can find her and the rest of the wave at walmart in stores target all over i see them everywhere right now so that's what we got today we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh figures we've got catwoman We've got Rocksteady from BST AXN, and of course we have the worst Batula Super 7, ah. which is the star of the show. Hey, look at this. The cat. And the bat. And the bat. How about that? So they scale kind of well. Actually, He's about the that's... size pretty close. Can you grab your crow? Your mez oh, is that mezco? Yeah. It's, Just so I can be see way the size. He's going to be way bigger. Oh, better not sing that song. I got some anime songs stuck in my head, guys. 
new Catwoman. He's about the same the size, same I guess. Same size. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Those poor Yu-Gi-Oh kids are so small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So we've got the bat. We move her. I got it. We've got the bat and the cat there. And I am, honestly, I'll say this. I hated this wave. But the fact that that cat woman, can, can, cat woman can stand without a stand. Yeah. Dude, whatever. <clears throat> whatever. Bebop. Bebop. Um, is fantastic so let us know what you guys think um hopefully next week we have some new mcfarlands for you because i'm super excited and cannot wait to find some of them they look really awesome um and yeah i hope your guys 2023 is going well hopefully you guys find some cool new stuff more than i have which would be great and yeah follow us on instagram link will be in the description below if you like this video please like comment and subscribe you guys are amazing as always thank you Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy the rest or well, start of the next week. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.